thank you for your interest in the Michigan Dental Association's peer review system. Complaints that deal with appropriateness of treatment and quality of care issues can be addressed in this arena. This tutorial gives a general overview of the MDA's peer review process. Peer review starts with a complaint made to the Michigan Dental Association. In most cases, an unhappy patient will initiate the complaint. Cases may also be initiated by a member dentist, a third-party insurance company, or an administrator of a dental program, but the patient needs to cooperate in the process since permission is required to access patient records. Not every complaint that is made at the MDA results in the opening of a case, but if a case is opened, it is sent to the member dentist's local or specialty component. The chairperson of this committee will assign the case to one of its members. This member reviewer will contact the patient and the dentist to try to mediate an agreement that is acceptable to both parties. During mediation, there is no evaluation of the treatment in question, but if the two parties can come to a mutually agreeable arrangement, the case is closed. If no agreement can be reached, the process continues to a full review. Here, both the patient and dentist are interviewed to clarify their sides of the dispute. Members of the peer review committee may also do a clinical exam of the patient's area of complaint. After all information is gathered, the local or specialty committee will come to a decision about the case. It should be noted that mediation can be offered at any time during the review process up until a decision is sent out to the member dentist and the patient. The member dentist and the patient have 30 days to appeal the component decision after it is published. Appeals of local or specialty decisions are reviewed by the Michigan Dental Association State Level Peer Review for Dental Care Committee. This committee is made up of 11 general dentists from around the state and one representative from each of the recognized dental specialty societies. The purpose of an appeal is not to redo the case, but to confirm that proper procedures were followed during the review, that the decision addresses the original complaint, and that the decision is consistent with the documentation that was presented. If the original decision meets these criteria, then it is upheld and the case is closed. If the decision does not meet these criteria, the case is sent back to the local or specialty committee for clarification or correction. When the information comes back to the state committee, it completes its review of the decision. Once the decision is finalized, the case is closed. At this point, there are no additional appeals available to either party. As an MDA member, the dentist is obligated to participate in the peer review process and to comply with any peer review decision. If the member dentist does not fulfill the requirements of the decision, he or she is referred to the Peer Review Ethics Committee where the case is evaluated. If this committee finds that there has been a violation of the MDA Code of Ethics, the dentist may be brought to a hearing and may be subject to disciplinary action. What about a member dentist who is repeatedly brought in front of the Peer Review Committee? If a member dentist has had three cases either mediated or found against him or her in a five-year period, the cases are reviewed by the State Level Peer Review Committee. Here, the committee evaluates whether each of the cases involves quality or appropriateness of care issues. If the cases do not involve clinical treatment issues, no further action is taken. If it is unclear whether the complaints are directly related to clinical treatment, the doctor may be asked to have an informal meeting with the state review committee where he or she would be able to explain the circumstances behind each of the cases. If the state committee determines that the practitioner has not breached the standard of care, the process ends. If, during the evaluation of the cases or through this informal meeting, there appears to be issues of quality and appropriateness of clinical treatment, the member dentist is brought to a formal hearing. At this hearing, the dentist will bring all relevant clinical records in order to explain treatment rendered in the disputed cases. Here, the state committee will then determine officially if the three cases breach the standard of care. 
If the state committee determines that the member dentist has breached the standard of care in the three cases, it will impose sanctions that affect the dentist's Michigan Dental Association membership status. The member may be censured, be put on probation, may be suspended from membership, or be expulsed from membership. The MDA is legally obligated to report penalties of suspension or expulsion to the State Board of Dentistry and to the National Practitioner Data Bank. The dentist may appeal any sanction to the MDA Board of Trustees. Board decisions may be appealed to the American Dental Association. In summary, the Michigan Dental Association system of peer review for dental care is in place to resolve issues involving clinical treatment by MDA member dentists. Peer review is not a legal proceeding. No decisions, deliberations, or findings can be used in a court of law. The peer review process is completely confidential, so decisions are not a matter of public record. And it is free to MDA member dentists and their patients. Thank you again for your interest in the Michigan Dental Association's peer review system. Any questions or comments can be directed to the MDA at peerreview at michigandental.org or at 800-589-2632.